Augustus Welby Northmore Pugin, a man who only lived 40 years and who during his lifetime was imprisoned for debt, widowed, bankrupted, shipwrecked and eventually confined to Bedlam. of being born in the same year as Charles Dickens and doing as much to define and shape Victorian Britain, Pugin is less celebrated, though his work is undeniably iconic. This extraordinary man was arguably the greatest British architect, designer and artist of the 19th century, pioneering the Gothic revival style which can be seen in places from the Houses of Parliament to Alton Towers. He achieved during his lifetime a body of work which was both exceptional and prolific. However, Pugin's most notable work lies in Staffordshire, giving it the name Puginland, where, with the patronage of the Earl of Shrewsbury, who identified with Pugin's moral stance on architecture, he designed what he called My Consolation in All Afflictions, St Giles in Cheadle known as Pugin's Gem. This, the bicentenary of Pugin's birth, sees the opening of the Pugin Centre in Cheadle, and through a 12-month programme of activities and this animation, we celebrate his work. Thank <laughs> you. 